What's going on, everybody? It's Christian DeBetta. Welcome back. And today, going to be talking about the late singer Michael Jackson and going to be talking specifically about the album Michael. Now, the album was released in 2010 as the first posthumous release uh, and included 10 songs, which included a lot of fan favorites, including Hollywood Tonight, Best of Joy, and Behind the Mask. I love these songs, too. Uh, but when the album came out, it was immediately swarmed with controversy. Uh, it was three songs in particular. These songs are also known as the Casio tracks. They are Breaking News, they are Keep Your Head Up, and also Monster featuring 50 Cent. Now, it's, these songs were allegedly recorded at the house of Eddie Casio in 2007, apparently in his basement or something. And they are also part of a leaked album called Bible, which includes songs like Soldier Boy, Ready to Win, and Burn Tonight. Uh, it was a 12-song album. And when you listen to that album, you can also tell even just how fake these songs like Breaking News are. Uh, you just, you know, if you want to go listen to them and come back, uh, honestly, you're probably going to have a little bit of a hard time because the main reason why I'm here today is to talk about the recent news surrounding those songs, being that as of today, those three tracks have been removed from all streaming platforms and YouTube. Uh, some of them are taking a little bit longer, so if you go and watch this video and then you check and you see they're still there, probably just because they haven't hit your country yet, or just because you know maybe your streaming platform hasn't updated or something. Uh, the album is also now just completely not available on iTunes, and a lot of questions are being raised. Uh, and hey, I'm Christian Nibetta, and if you like this type of video, if you like this video in particular, if you like Michael Jackson, you like sports, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and go check out some of my other content. I guarantee that you will love it. Now, back to what we were talking about. Now, the Michael album, again, has a lot of ups and downs, so with the downs obviously being those Casio tracks, but it does have a lot of quality songs. Uh, you know, some things that didn't happen that other Michael albums had, and there wasn't a lot of heavy promotion after the controversy started. There also was no vinyl rollout, which is unusual as every single other Michael Jackson album is on vinyl, but that one, uh, even trying to acquire a bootleg of that vinyl is extremely difficult to do as they are very rare. Uh, but, you know, it's just a lot. And it's understandably Michael Jackson's fans and the family very upset by this. And the decision today to remove these songs from streaming platforms is just super interesting to me. Uh... I'll give you my quick input before we talk a little bit more about, you know, the after effects, uh, I guess the effects of this happening, what might happen after this. Uh, I personally think this is related to the court case. I believe her name is Vera Sarova. Sorry if I botched that. But basically, uh, to catch you up to speed if you don't know, a fan sued the Michael Jackson estate, sued Sony Music, sued, uh, uh, what's his name, Eddie Casio. Everyone involved with the Michael album saying that the songs are fake, saying that you cannot sell us this product because it is not uh, Michael Jackson, and that you cannot label those songs as ones that were made by Michael Jackson. Now, sorry, I keep doing that. Uh, now, basically, Sony was taken off the lawsuit, uh, basically saying that, you know, fair use, they can do whatever they want, and the court agreed. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below, but if not, let's just keep going with this. Uh, obviously COVID hit and it kind of, it impacted the, I guess, everything surrounding the lawsuit. Uh, very, obviously you couldn't really get into court like that when COVID happened, you know, that was more for the, I guess, the very important things, uh, like criminal, actual criminal cases. But, you know, the court case has picked up some steam lately. I know that they had a hearing of some sort about a month ago, and I personally think that this is related to that. I think that there is, I guess, some part of that court case had evolved into this happening. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we get some news on that court case soon. Now, let's talk a little bit about the, I guess, what might happen after. Now, one big thing to note is that Sony and the Michael Jackson estate doing this, or I guess it's more the Michael Jackson estate doing this, is basically them admitting defeat. I mean, it's it's very out of nowhere as well, which is why, I, and like I said, I think it's related to the court case because, you know, they've been on, up on streaming platforms for almost 12 years now. So, you know, removing them on some random day in June of 2022 just makes no real sense. But I think this is the Michael Jackson estate admitting defeat. I think that this is, I think something we may see in the near future is a statement of some sort from all the people involved, uh, maybe some of the people involved, but at least the estate I think will come out and admit the feat because doing this, 
is basically what you're doing, but obviously putting pen to paper is really what you want to do. You want to come out, you want to apologize, and you want to right your wrongs. Uh, Jason Malachi, obviously the alleged singer of these songs, be interesting to see what happens with that. Maybe he takes some of the songs. Obviously, Breaking News doesn't really make a lot of sense as a song to release for Jason Malachi, considering it's a Michael, I guess he talks about Michael Jackson the whole time. But, you know, songs like Keep Your Head Up, songs like Monster, and, you know, maybe the additional Bible songs will now be released by Jason Malachi. And I gotta say, personally, I actually like some of these songs. I do enjoy a lot of the Bible album. It's just, but I, I it's unrelated to Michael Jackson, you know. I like the songs for what they are, but I also do not like that they were pushed as Michael Jackson's songs. I think a lot of you would agree. Let me know down below if the comments, if you agree with that, or if you just cannot stand the songs because they were mislabeled as Michael Jackson. Uh, I think that it's possible we could see a statement from someone like that as well, just going out and clearing the air. I think it would mean a lot to us as fans. And now I think the question is, where does this go? you know, when it comes to his music, because, you know, Michael Jackson is who he is because of his music. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been quick to say maybe they will re-release the album with new music to make up for it, which honestly, I would be completely on board for that, but I do think it has a very small likelihood. I think they're just going to take the songs off, and I think they're just going to leave it as that. And I think, again, they'll most likely come out with a statement of some sort. It would be strange to do a move like this and then not come out and explain your intentions, so I think you'd, you can expect that soon. Uh, but again, I don't also think that we will get these uh, unreleased songs to replace the three that were taken off. Again, I'm all ears. I, I love, I'm love. i down for it, but just don't see that happening. Uh, we also do have Thriller 40 coming in November, so I think that this will be a good opportunity for them to you know kind of post up his reputation a bit. I do dislike the fact that they only really... Uh, I guess, place emphasis and promote his earlier albums because obviously they're his most popular. But so, uh, albums like Invincible and, and History, one just don't really get talked about and they don't really do much for. But they are key albums, especially ones that are more personal, ones that are more underrated and ones that the world just needs to hear more of. I know Heaven Can Wait was picked up by a TikTok trend, so that was big and in pushing Invincible back onto the charts, pushing Heaven Can Wait back into the charts. Very happy to see that. But I think that using Thriller 40, I think that now that the estate is, uh, they're having a pretty good year, honestly, you know? They have the Michael Jackson the Musical, which I guess, I believe, took home a couple Tony Awards. It's been, you know, really popular among people, and it's gotten really great reviews. Also, they, uh, again, the Thriller 40 thing is big at the Billboard Music Awards. They had, I can't remember his name, but they had some artists covered the lady in my life. And, you know, they used that as a tribute to Michael Jackson. And now they're doing this. They also, the uh, the biopic was announced. And it seems actually as of today as well that they will touch on, you know, the late, I guess later in his life. They will talk about the alleg They will talk about the allegations. I think that's going to be super important. I think it's going to be, you know, something that really pushes Michael Jackson back into a positive spotlight. But I think doing this as is just part of that process. I think removing those songs was big from the estate. And, you know, I really don't know where they go from here after this. I think they probably just release a statement and they just call it a day. I really don't see them really pushing out anything else. I think they'll just now move on to the later half of this year, move on to promoting Thriller 40. Now, if you like Michael Jackson, you like his music, uh, I am going to come out with a video in the near future talking about if we will ever get a new full-fledged Michael Jackson album like Michael and like Escape, not an anniversary album like Thriller 40 or Bad 25. Will we ever get a standalone third posthumous album? Uh, I'm excited to talk about it. If you like that, make sure to stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because that will be your best way of hearing about when that comes out. Uh, let me know down below your thoughts on this situation. Let me know if you think they will put out songs to replace the ones they just took down. Let me know if you think uh, the estate will come out with a statement. You know, let me know down below. I want to hear your thoughts on this. And as always, stay cool.